going along When the secret begins That's when I feel at the end But I was a fool I was listening to everything Pluckers, I have a sore fingers again with you with hopefully another interesting little ditty for you. Probably not one you may have heard before, I don't know. Um, it was a new one on me. And it's a song by a gentleman called Teddy Thompson, who is uh, the son of Linda and Richard Thompson from uh, the 1980s. when we had a big success together. And this is a song called uh, Don't Know What I Was Thinking. Sort of bouncy sort of country and westerny type of feel to it okay so uh, I'm instead of tuning uh, no capos and I'm doing it in the same key that uh, Teddy Thompson does this song in live okay so uh, without more to let me show you uh, how I played it please excuse the singing as usual <laughs> uh, so uh, it's not really in my key but uh, I had a go just for reference Right then, let's get to it. So the introduction starts off with this little riff. Very simple, open A string, hammering up to the second fret on the same string, the fifth string. And then the open fourth string. Very simple, yeah? Now, the intro carries on with this riff on the D chord. And it's played all the way through the song. So it's quite an important part of the song, okay? so it's So what am I doing there? So after the first bit we've already done, two strokes on the D chord. Okay. So it's two strokes on the D stroke on the D chord. Then take the first finger off the D chord and play that chord, just those two fingers, okay? After you go, put that fourth, fourth pinky up to the fourth fret, fourth string, the D string. So it's, and I'm playing from five downwards. Okay, so it's, and then back to the D chord. Okay, so it's. slowly, really slowly. Okay. 
then there's a little pause, mini pause, then you hit the D chord again, then put your pinky up to the 4th fret on the 3rd string, then back to the D, then add your pinky to the 4th fret, 4th string, okay, so now you've got chords wise I mean you can pick out the individual notes if you want to but I'm trying to play it as a chord okay okay up to that point then move the first finger up to the second fret of the fourth string okay so you've got If you want, you can play individual notes there, where we go. Okay, if you want to play it by individual notes, so you go. If you want to do it like that, you can. So that's fourth fret, third string, pinky, second fret, third string, first finger. And then pinky goes to the fourth fret, fourth string, and then second on the fourth. Okay? can do it like that. So two ways of playing it, like my way is okay, or the simpler way if you just want to play individual notes Play the whole thing twice, okay? Once on the intro, that bit only once, but the, the chord sequence twice, okay? So very slowly, the intro. And then into the song, okay? Oh, sorry, I'm minutes away is the first line, so it's just. Follows the, it follows the riff really. Away. And what I like to do there, because there's also a slide guitar going on there and what have you, lap like steel guitar, or whatever, okay, I like to go. And all that is, it's on the D, so it's. Away. Right, and what I'm doing there, so it's. Away. And then we play the third string of the D. 2nd string of the D, open up the top E string and hammer into it. Okay, so, so it's So hammer into that chord again. Okay, at the end of that. Right, so So you play the 2nd on the 3rd, the 3rd on the 2nd, the open 2nd, and then hammer into that D chord, put that second finger back. Right, so it's... G, I'm playing a four finger G. You can play a normal G if you like. I'm playing a four finger, doubling up on the third fret of the second string and the third string. Uh, sorry, second string and the top E string, sorry. Third fret. And then it feeds down to E minor on the bass note. Second on the bottom E, first finger, and then bottom E string open E minor. So now you've got. I'm minutes away. I'm taking the next train. I, I play the bass note chord, set bass note chord, keeping those two fingers on the uh, top two strings there. Okay. E minor. Okay, so it's. I'm in this way. I'm taking the next string. Go on. And then to an A chord. I was thinking D. And then the intro riff again. And then 
blues style again, okay? I'm bringing you flowers, a little riff. I'm making it a two feet down to E minor. Don't know why I was sing D, thinking riff. Now this time you only play half the riff, okay? Okay, that's half the riff this time. After you come out of the verse. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, just half the riff. You don't go, you don't do that bit. Okay, so you play half the riff and then you do this one again. Like you did in the middle of the, in the first line and the third line. That one again. So it goes, I don't know what I was thinking. To the chorus. Okay, so right from the beginning to the end of the first verse going into the chorus. Okay, so here we go slowly. I'm in it away. I'm taking the next train. Chorus, right? And the chorus is I figured out and I need you. So it's D. I figured it out and I G need you. With that run down to G to E minor again. Need you. Okay, got that. I figured it out. But this time, uh, there's a four, there's a fourth note in it, so it's one, bottom E string E minor, and then play the fourth string open. Take the th second, uh, third finger off the fourth string, that one, and make the fourth string open, and play that note open, fourth string open E minor. So it's. Open fourth string, strum, E minor. Okay, got that. So it's I feel it out and I need you. A don't know why I didn't D. No red, 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 half red. And then it's begin. I got it all wrong. And our G was run down again, miss you. Open D string, A, don't know what I was thinking. Riff. Whole riff, and then we're into the second verse, okay? So you got that. So coming out of the first verse, don't know what I was Riff into the, into the chorus. After the chorus, you play the whole once through the whole intro riff, okay? So it's thank you. Just once, okay? Then the second verse comes in, and it's exactly the same to play as the first verse with different words. I'm going So as, as before, so it's uh, that's what I feel I have to end it. But I was a fool. I was listening to everything except for what I was saying. 
chorus. I figured out I need you. Don't know why I didn't know it didn't I got it all wrong and I miss you. Now we're going into the bridge section now. After the second verse and the second chorus, we're going to the bridge section. So you only play that riff once, uh, half the riff, okay? So it goes, um, Didn't know what I was singing. Just half the riff. Then we're going into the core, into the bridge section, okay? I'm so it's E minor. A, it's D, O, G, O, So E minor, A, D, G, okay? And let's see, it's over. We run down again to E minor. And A, now it's G, U. Back to E minor, it's U, to A, U. So that's I wanna say it's over. I know what I want, and it's you, it's you, it's you. Now what I like to do on this is is this. That. Okay, it's a bit more like the record then, but you can just play the A, okay? It's you, it's you, it's you. And build it up, yeah? But I like to do that A, lazy A, just barring the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. Open A string, five down to two it is. Then add, make it a sus four by adding your second finger to the third fret, second string. And then pinky up to the fifth fret, second string. Okay, got that. So that's I know what I say is over. I know what I want. Now it's you, it's you, it's you. And then this instrumental verse, okay. Um, This is where it changes as the outro. A, don't know what I was thinking. Right, what you do there? So instead of going to the D, we go to the B minor. So it's, don't know what I was thinking, B minor. Now bar chord preferable, second fret bar, minor shape. What you do is, you can just stay on the B minor if you like. So, oh, I didn't know. Thinking. Right away. I was think B minor again. A. That's why I know what I riff was thinking. Okay, so it does right at the end of the chorus. It does two A to B minor, A to B minor. A to D riff finish, but to be more like the record, when you go to the B minor, I like to do this. That because it, there's that going on on the lap steel or whatever. Okay, so what I'm doing is B minor. Take the second finger off, put it back. 
and then take the bar off leave the top string open keeping these three fingers where they are and put this instead of having the bar just play the second on the fifth so, so you've got that top E string open so it's back to A Again, thinking I don't know what I'm saying Okay But if you don't, if you can't do that <laughs> Just play B minor uh, I mean you could do it as a simple B minor So B minor simple, then bar the first two strings, the first finger, then make the B minor again, and then take the first finger off. Now I was thinking. Sorry. Boys and girls, that's my take on this song, which you probably never heard before. <laughs> but uh, nice little ditty, I thought. Got some nice chord changes in it and little little feels and stuff. Thanks very much for watching, and listening. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now. <laughs>